Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to share my story this afternoon um, accompanied by chants. In my household, my mother always insisted that we respond to a chant while she was telling us stories. And then we asked, but why? She explained that everything that we are, everything that we see, visible or invisible, are all in vibrations. We are all in vibrations. She said that chanting brings a sense of unity and generates vibrations that creates greater connection within ourselves, the world, and the universe. So on this special day, ladies and gentlemen, we would like, why not chant for peace? Nelson Mandela always insisted that as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. So let's do them the same. The chant is easy. It's Jigawe. 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 All right, question and response. I go. <laughs> yes, I. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, my grandmother, my mom's mom, is a descendant of the Sun people of Kalahari. Their vision of the world and spirituality is that shamanism is a world in which the humankind, vegetation, and animal kind have the same value. They believe that the spirit and body are one and cannot be considered separately. I therefore, ladies and gentlemen, in my everyday life approach, I'm always looking to generate those vibrations that creates greater connection within myself, my interaction with the universe, and the world. And now, mama, bang a pezzi And now, sisi, bang a pezzi And now, bang a bang a pezzi Interactions, the positive exchange of energies, humility to stay grounded and be receptive to other energies, compassion for humanity. I believe that rhythm, vibrations, whether meditating, walking, walking, relaxing, remains an essential tool to move us towards greater growth in consciousness, presence, here and now. And now, Mama Banga Pesu Quanta, and now, Sisi Banga Pesu Quanta, Mr. Pupu, Pupu, Pusu Quanta, Pupu, Pupu, Pusu Quanta, and now, Mama Banga Pesu Quanta, and now, Sisi Banga Pesu Quanta, Eshe. My name is Diwele Molale Lubi, and I come from Matosana in South Africa. I was born in a small farm in Ottosdal. Both my parents were farm workers. My mom, as was one known as a kitchen girl, domestic worker, and my dad, a foreman, the manager. Our school was built and run by the Terry Blanche brothers. These are the farmers that my parents used to work for. The famous cousin, Eugene Terry Blanche, was a prominent leader of the extreme right party in the former Transvaal region of South Africa. When we grew up, when I was young, I used to hear my brothers, my older uncles, talking, laughing, and joking about gaffer hunting, human hunting by the Terry Blanche brothers. So it was an adventure for them to go out at weekends to see friends because beatings, aggression, was a common thing to farm workers, even loss of life. That was the case with my dad. After his tragical loss, Mr. Terry Blanche gave my mom one month to move out of our farm. And that's when we went to Matlosana, city of the people on the move. Move people. And now, Mama Banga Pesicota. 
In Matosana, I was contracted with a complete different realities. I was confused by those all passionate and enthusiastic students dancing and singing, want to burn everything associated with the government. In my first term at school, all my classmates stood on stage, rushed out through the door, jumped through the windows to join a huge crowd of students singing and dancing to the most passionate songs I've ever heard. Umzabalas. One day my mom came back from work with a newspaper headline, Mandela is free. I asked her, mom, but what is freedom? She said, freedom is what you make of it. I was scared. I felt so uncertain. I didn't know what to do. Freedom felt so uncertain, so unsafe, too risky. Something I never knew from my life as a farm at Mr. Terry Blanch. No more, ladies and gentlemen. It is noted that as children, we never had the opportunity to choose our beliefs or moral values. We never had the opportunity to choose what to believe in or not what to believe in. We never even chose our names, but we agreed to that information that was given to us by the others. We believed it, and that is called faith. To have faith is to believe unconditionally. As I had made up agreements with the apartheid system, with the Bantu Education Act, with all the conditions that the white people put us under, I was faced with self-mind decolonization, changing all my agreements. I had to make brand new agreements, new beliefs, new faith. Fearful as it was, I based my arguments on especially the philosophies of Nelson Mandela and the wisdom of the ancestors of my mom, our ancestors. Always remembering Nelson Mandela said, courage is not an absence of fear, but the triumph over it. A brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. And now, mama, vanga pesikota, move on. I chose dance. It was free of charge and a great way to express our frustration. I mean, the reality was if I was to look at further education, it was not my poor single mother who was going to bring me to school raising six other children in the most hostile transitional period in South Africa. When my traditional dance took me from South Africa to Europe, to the UK, North America, back and forth to Africa, to here today standing at the United Nations office, <laughs> talking vibrations, peace, <laughs> and resilience. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Some of my friends like to tease me to say how lucky I've been, but I don't believe in luck. Rather, inner peace, centralized balance. I believe everything I've been and I am is to do with self reprogrammation, self decolonization, changing all my indoctrination designing and making brand new agreements. Agreements based on inner peace, resilience and humility. As my mama always told me, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. 
agreement that grants the serenity to accept things I cannot change. The courage to things that I can change and the wisdom to know the difference. Today, as an artistic director of company Matosana in France, and Matosana Company Center for the Arts in South Africa, as well as a member of International Dance Council. I've written a learning program for Matosana Center for the Arts, performing arts learning program, inclusive of the structure of the institution, the curriculum and learning programs. In partnership with Africa Learning Internationals, Conseil International Did Dance, our institution will offer international diploma, international certification validated by Conseil International de la Dance, as well as partnering other national institutions and international institutions. Ladies and gentlemen, I come from South Africa. I come from Matlosana. I know what my friends need in South Africa, in Africa and beyond. We only need access. Access to knowledge, access to education, access to self-expression. Education for all is a human right. It is one of the fundamental goals of UNESCO to achieve peace. I therefore believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we can all be the change that we want. Nelson Mandela once said, sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. We can be that generation. I want to be part of that generation. We are all that generation. Peace be unto us. I thank you. Boop, 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 boop,